If I were Earl Sampson, I think if you were Earl Sampson, I think we could all agree we'd be really ticked because Earl Sampson in Florida has been stopped and questioned by police a total of 258 times. 258. And all of that in just four years. The searches, uh, 100 times. Arrests and jailings, 56 times. Almost every single one of these citations was issued at the very same place. The convenience store where Earl Sampson works. Our correspondent John Zarella is tracking the story in Miami. First of all, can we be clear? Is Earl Sampson an incredible criminal or is there something stinky in that town? No, you know, and according to his, uh, his attorney that there's nothing on his criminal record other than a, a marijuana possession charge. Uh, and that most all the times when he's been picked up, detained, everything's either been dismissed, thrown out, not adjudicated, nothing with, uh, with Mr. Sampson. In fact, his attorney says that if you added it up all those times that you mentioned, that's the equivalent to being arrested about once a week for the last, or picked up or detained, once a week for the last four years. Now, Miami Gardens police say they're taking the allegations against their officers seriously. They're looking into the complaints and allegations that their officers are targeting black males. And the mayor of Miami Gardens, which is just north, just south of, uh, north of Miami, says that, look, this is a high crime area and we have zero tolerance. Here's what Mr. Sampson told local affiliate WFOR. They always stopping me, going in my pocket, asking me for my ID, running my name. So how did all this get started? About a year and a half ago, the owner of the convenience store had had enough. So he installed surveillance cameras to catch the police in action to see what they were doing. He recorded dozens of instances where police were stopping different uh, people, including Samson. 